Hello guys and welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about the project management simulation. Here, for this case, is scenario A. So we are going to talk at, uh, the, we are going to look at the scope, resources, and schedule. So to start us off, in this simulation, you will assume the role of uh, a senior management project, of a senior project manager at uh, Delphi Printers and Peripherals. Here, what you'll basically be required to do is that uh, you'll be tasked with the assembly and managing of a product design, and also you'll be the leader of a team which must develop a new and innovative printer superior to those uh, from other competitors. Also, in this, uh, in this game, we have that, in this scenario, you have the scenario objectives. So if you look at the scenario objectives, these are uh, for you to successfully complete the projects that you have been given by the top management, your project must meet some criteria and your performance will be graded using the following uh, objectives. So, first of all is the target scope. This one, they'll, uh, you'll read, they want to look at uh, the target scope, then uh, the target schedule to see what is the number of weeks that you'll take to complete a certain uh, the task. Then you have uh, the target cost. This is uh, the cost that you used to complete the the game. Then we have uh, managing your project. If you look at your screen here, where they're saying that uh, managing your project, we have in this case is scenario A. So before you start uh, the project, and each week as it unfolds you'll have an opportunity to adjust certain project parameters. So here you can just play the game, like uh, managing your project can just try and uh, ensure that in level uh, one, you have flexibility to complete about uh, 130 tasks. In level two, you complete about uh, 170 tasks. In level three, about uh, 185. Then in level four, about 200 tasks. Then, uh, also in the project schedule, here the senior management has given you its objectives regarding the schedule based on its analysis. Then also we have uh, the staff, uh, the project resources. Here is uh, something about uh, the number of teams and the average staff skill level, the one that you use uh, to carry out the project. Then we have the team process. You are you make uh, ongoing decisions regarding your team process you have uh, overtime meetings and a meeting we have uh, three kinds of meetings we have uh, the one-on-one -on -one coaching this one takes two hours per session then we have the stand-up this one will take uh, 15 minutes per session okay basically this uh this meeting are just to prevent the mistakes and uh, to increase productivity then the status review, this one can help in the team coordination and the personal skill management. Then also we have uh, the prototypes. Here you may decide whether you want to create a product prototype during your project. And if so, how many? So if you look at uh, your screen, you see that the scoring is based on the project scope, project schedule, and uh, project resources. Next. We go to the dashboard. Now, if you look at uh, my dashboard here, you see that with this one is uh, what I completed in this scenario A. So in this scenario A, you can see that I had uh, total score was 671 out of 1000. And I believe this was just the first round or the first attempt. So I, I believe that by playing it in the second attempt, I might get some more, but all in all, I just wanted to record this video and try to show you how you can ace uh, this game. Now, if you look at the dashboard, here we have, uh, so let's see, here we have uh, your target week uh, completion, we have 18, then the total task completed was 170 out of 170, the number of tasks completed this week was 15, then uh, if you look at uh, down here we have uh, this, the time spent on activities, then the moods, the mood of the employer, of the of the workers, 
then also the cumulative cost you see that i spent i was over budget meaning i spent more than uh, what i was being given then in terms of scheduling i was ahead of schedule meaning i completed the tasks uh, ahead because i completed more tasks than what was uh, ahead of the others like uh, in terms of the number of weeks that i was uh, scheduled to complete it i did it uh, in a uh, faster faster way now we have uh, the if you look at your screen we have these tabs so the first tab is the dashboard the second tab is the progress the project progress and here you see that this one will just show you the number of tasks that completed and the tasks that are remaining and also if we discover the new problems on the course of the simulation play you can this one you can interchange between uh, having it in graphical form or in tabular form now if you look at your screen you have my unfinished tasks here then uh, we have the tasks completed and problem discovered so that's it then the schedule targets team estimates and what have you the next we have uh, resources and uh, the resources just the resources we just display the data regarding the team composition and the team productivity together with the weekly cost so you can see the my team composition was that uh, week 16 team size was 4 new team size i added again 4 then the cost my weekly cost was uh, 3000 then the team statistics and uh, the tasks completed per sessions the problem discovered per person and uh, what have you then the next tab is about the team process so if you look at our team process here you see that this side it gives us the team mood then uh, the like uh, the team's overall level of stress so with this one you can see that my team morale was morale was high compared to this other this other time and uh, the time spent on activities this is just uh, the data on how much time was spent on each task so the task was uh, 34 hours then one on one coaching was uh, 4 hours then uh, we can have this status review was 2 hours then next we have the management targets of week 17 this 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 screen will just present a comparison of the user project and uh, just a comparison of the user's project and the project ob objective set by the senior management so if you look at uh, here we have my budget the budget that was set by the senior management was 42500 but i went slightly over budget and i used 48720 the next we we have the decisions because uh, you see that in this game you will be required to make decisions and uh, the decisions you can look uh, at my decisions so for for instance my decisions i can look them at the decision history so you see that in week one my target sco scope was uh, level two then uh, the target completion was uh, week 18 my team size was four my team skill level was uh, basic my outsourcing was some primary tasks then my prototypes i had none then in terms of meeting a uh, one-on-one -on -one per week was three then uh, stand up was one status review was one and uh, overtime i allowed overtime now if you look at uh, this one you see that i tried to play to the best of my ability to see that i get the maximum points available and uh, to analyze of uh, on the results that i did you see that uh, here is that so if i can come slightly on my let's say i can come slightly on my results you see that uh, i was slightly over budget but i was ahead of the schedule in terms of performing in terms of performance and you see that while i was playing the game let's say in terms of over budget when i i reached week uh, week four 
you see that there was a high volume of meetings in and it was interfering with my team's ability to get through their weekly workload. That's why I had again to reschedule and reduce the number of meetings. And also, when I reached week 5, I see that my project was over budget with the current rate of spending. I was not able to meet the management targets. So I had to shrink my team and hire less expensive team members. Now, in terms of my final rating, we see that uh, here we have uh, my target scope because this is scenario A. I released level 2 product on week 17 and the total cost was 48,720. We see that uh, my project scope rating was uh, for achieving management goals, I had 200 out of 200. For exceeding management goals, I had uh, nothing because this is the just the first attempt. Then in terms of project schedule rating, I had 200 out of 200. Then uh, project resource rating, I had 182 out of 200. And in terms of team process rating, I had 84 out of 100. So this is was this was my scenario one. I can uh, when I next in the next video I'll try and explain uh, what I did in scenario two. Kindly stick around to watch the video also.